So what is an interface? Um, this is one of the places where I actually really like the Wikipedia definition. I always don't always, but this is one of them. So, you know, and, and let's, so let's look at it together and we'll go through it uh, step by step. So it says in computing, and there are other definitions of interface. Um, an interface is a shared boundary across which two or more separate components of a computer system exchange information. So it's this sort of meeting point where two things come together. Um, the exchange can be between software, computer hardware, peripheral devices, humans, and combinations of these. And so I think this gives you a sense of how many different interfaces there are um, in computer science. So you have human-computer interfaces. There's a whole field called HCI that studies how computers interact with humans. So through, you know, trackpads and mice and keyboards and video and touch screens. And there's an interface where the computer is talking back to me through sound and particularly through the screen where it's displaying information. So that's one interface within a computer system. Um, every time you plug in a peripheral to your computer, whether it's a webcam or a, I don't know, your external USB device or whatever, you're using an interface. USB, uh, every cable that you get conforms to a particular interface. Uh, you know, and, and one of the things I want to make really clear here um, is that interfaces are a place where we need agreement. Interfaces are a place where we need conventions and documentation um, because if you don't, then the whole point of having an interface sort of falls down. So imagine that you know every computer had different size ports on it and every cable had different size connectors. You would never be able to connect anything together. And so the USB interface works because everybody's agreed to it and because there's a huge amount of documentation. So if I'm a peripheral maker, let's say I'm making some new DoWiki or whatever that I want you to plug into your computer, all I have to do, I don't have to go talk to Apple or to Microsoft or whatever, I just go and get the USB specification that tells me exactly how that interface works. And as long as my device holds up its end of the bargain, I'm good. Um, and this, you'll see this feature uh, between all different parts of the computer. So again, the, the screen on your display is, is, you know, is set up, there's an interface there and the computer has to display information in a way that conforms to your expectations. The same thing with your mouse, right? If you move your mouse left and the thing goes sideways or whatever, then it's not going to be very useful. So not only are computer interfaces ubiquitous and incredibly important and powerful, but they're a place where two things come together and when those two separate things come together, in order for them to work, that to work out, we need to have agreement, we need to have convention, we need to have documentation. So we'll see that a little bit today as we start to look at Java interfaces. But the idea behind an interface, that's the other thing I don't want you to, to miss out on here. Java has a very specific notion of interface and it's a keyword in the language and we're gonna learn how to do that. But the idea of an interface is much bigger than Java. It occurs throughout every major programming language and it occurs even in Java in ways that fall outside of this very specific interface keyword that we're going to start using. So this is a tremendously powerful concept. Um, I'm really excited to talk about it, but it's you know this place where two things come together, where there's information exchanged, there's some sort of agreement about how things are going to work, and two different parts of a system are able to communicate, share information, and uh, make forward progress together.